Greetings to all. Myself A. Albert Ravi. In this session, we are going to discuss about the authorities of income tax. We know our government of India imposes an income tax on taxable income of all persons including individuals, Hindu undivided families, companies, firms, association of persons, body of individuals, limited liability partnership, local authority and on any other artificial judicial person. As per the provisions, the levy of tax is separate on each of the persons, but the levying of tax is governed by the Income Tax Act 1961. The Indian Income Tax Department is governed by CBDT, that's called Central Board of Direct Tax, which is the part of the Department of Revenue which functions under the Ministry of Finance of Government of India. The Income Tax Department is the biggest revenue mobilizer for the government. So, such a department should be administrated, monitored by the efficient authorities. So, the Income Tax Authorities of income tax has set up by the government of India specifically for the lawful execution of the income tax act and to oversee the righteous functioning of the income tax department. In India the income tax authorities are classified under two heads one is administrative authorities and another one is judicial authorities. The administrative authorities are focusing on the administration of taxations. Who are all the authorities of income tax? There you could be able to see in the PPT in this slide. It is headed by the Central Board of direct tax, then followed by principal chief commissioner of income tax or principal director general, chief commissioner or director general, principal commissioner, principal director of income tax, commissioner of income tax or additional director general of income tax. Additional Commissioner of Income Tax or Additional Director of Income Tax, Joint Commissioner, Deputy Commissioner, Assistant Commissioner, followed by Income Tax Officers, Tax Recovery Officers and finally Inspectors of Income Tax. So it's the following list of ranks in the Income Tax Department in India. Just for a brief, here I would like to speak about the statutory authority of income tax which is Central Board of Direct Tax. The Central Board of Direct Tax consists of a chairman following six members. Apart from chairman, there will be six members to govern income tax and revenue, legislation, administration, investigation, taxpayer service and system, audit and judicial. So it is the body which functions under Department of Revenue. There you could be able to see the income tax India GOV on GOVI.in website. So, so let me click about the Central Board of Direct Taxes icon. There you could be able to see who is the chairperson of CBDT at present, Sri Nitin Gupta, followed by the members, Ms. Anuja Sarangi, Sri Subhashri Krishnan, Ms. Sangeeta Singh, Sri Nitin Gupta, Ms. Prahya Shahe Saksena, Ms. Sangeeta Singh. And there you could be able to see the above 
as I said earlier, the Central Board of Direct Taxes is a part of Department of Revenue, which functions under the Ministry of Finance, which is headed by our Honorable Finance Minister Srimati Nirmala Sitaraman. Then the next authorities are judicial authorities. The judicial authorities are appointed to take care of various taxpayers' grievances. The income tax liability is determined by the assessing officer first. The AO is the one who determine the income tax liability. After that, in case if a taxpayer has any grievance, which means the taxpayer who is who has aggrieved by various actions of assessing officer can appeal before Commissioner of Income Tax Appeal. Kindly listen, Commissioner of Income Tax is a different authority. Commissioner appeal is an different is a different authority because the judicial authorities are appointed only to deal the grievances. In case if the commissioner appeals judgment has not given a satisfaction to the aggrieved person, then further chance is availed, which means the aggrieved party can go for further appeal before the Income Tax Appellate Tribunal, ITAT. Almost all the cases will be finalized in the ITAT. In case if the affected person has not satisfied based on the judgment given by ITAT on a substantial question of law further appeal can be filed where the aggrieved party can be filed means they can file before high court and even to the supreme court as the income tax is governed by the Central Board of Direct Tax. So the administrative authorities and judicial authorities are headed by CBDT. And there you could be able to see separate administrative authorities. And we have separate authorities for judicial purpose. So the judicial authorities are Commissioner Appeal, Income Tax Appellate Tribunal. If the case is not solved in ITAT further as like all common people we can go for we can go to high court or supreme court who are appointing the income tax authorities first the west the power west with the central government the central government may appoint any person who is think fit to be income tax authorities up to and above rank of an assistant commissioner of income tax. This is what section 117 subsection 1 says. Then the power of the board, the power of the board here is central board of direct tax and other higher authorities. Subject to the rules and subject to the instructions of central government, Other post can be fulfilled by with the authorization of central government by the board or a director general, a chief commissioner or a director or a commissioner to appoint income tax authorities below the rank of an assistant commissioner. So below the rank of an assistant commissioner or deputy commissioner shall be appointed by the board and the above said authorities with the authorization of the central government. Then regarding the other executive and ministerial purpose, the board, the central board 
or the permitted income tax authorities can appoint executive or ministerial staff to assist in their execution of its functions so with this let me conclude the authorities of income tax are categorized as administrative and judicial though each and every ha one have authorities they have separate powers and separate rights in this icon the department of income tax you could see who are all the present authorities with their respective name and email id for example principal director of income tax administration there is a director generals principal director for various administration activities and here you could able to see ccit principal ccit commissioner of chief commissioner of income tax region wise so the authorities are appointed according to the administrations according to the jurisdictions in order to cope up and to maintain the income tax act 1961 genuinely so with this let me wind up this session we will discuss what are all the authorities of each and every income tax authorities in next session thank you